Yo guys, what's going on? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 4. Where to put your JavaScript? That's coming up. <laughs> Alright guys, so in the last video you saw me do this script right here at the bottom of the body tag. And that's fine, okay? If I had a little script like this and it was just on one page only, I'd put it at the bottom of the body tag for that page. Absolutely fine. Um, I've even seen other people put this wherever the hell they like on that page, up here or in the head, somewhere like this. However, I would advise against this and I'll show you why. The HTML page is loaded from top to bottom, okay, so if it comes across it here in the head or here at the top of the body, then it's going to run this JavaScript first before loading any of the content in. And in certain circumstances, that can have a negative effect on your web page. This is one of them. I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to save this in, um, in brackets and go to a browser. So this is the page. However, if I refresh now that the script is at the top, watch this. The alert comes up without loading the page. So I don't know what web page I'm on here. I could be on anything. So once I click OK, then it loads the rest of the page now. If I was to go back to the code and take this script and put it right at the bottom here, this now, the content above, should load first. So let's give that a whirl. Let's save it and go again to the browser, refresh this, and now you can see in the background, this comes up, the content, so I know where I am, and then the alert pops up. So that is a much better way of doing things, okay? So small scripts like this, only for one page, just paste at the bottom of your content, just before the closing body tag. Now, in some circumstances, you are gonna find links at the top here, and there are occasions when that's absolutely fine, when the JavaScript is asynchronous and it loads in conjunction with your HTML page. Um, I'll get into that later on, but for now, just get into the habit of putting your scripts right at the bottom here so it has no effect on the content. Now, that is only for small scripts, okay? If you had a larger script, which was maybe 10, 20, 30, or even more lines of code, you're going to want to take that script and put it in an external file so that A, it doesn't mess up your content page and your HTML here. Uh, B, if you're using it on multiple pages, then you only have to update it once. And C, it's just more tidy, neater, uh, neater, I don't know what that word is, neater, and it keeps things in a logical place. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. So instead of putting this here, I delete it. I'll just copy that, in fact. And I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to call that test.js. Oh, .js. There we go. And I'm going to paste it in there and save it. Now, we'll come back to that in a second. But here, I'm just going to scoot this back up here. Now, we'd link that JS file in, just like we would a, a CSS file. Okay, but instead of putting it in the head, we keep it down here in the body at the bottom. So the way we link it in is by having our script tags like that and just put in source equals and then test.js. So this link is relative. If it was in a folder, we'd have to put the folder name in here. Um, you know all about paths from the HTML course. If you don't, go and check that out first of all. And once we've linked that in, this will then come down here, find the test.js file, and then pass that code. It will run the code in here. And we don't need the script tags in here because the browser already knows it's a script from this and for the fact that it's got a JS ending. Okay, All JavaScript files have a .js ending. So that's how we link up the script. And just to prove that this still works, I'm going to save this and open it up in a browser. Give this a refresh, and boom, there we go, guys. Still works. So here are the rules. If you have a small script just for one page, feel free to embed that script at the bottom of your page. Otherwise, externalize it and put it in a separate file. Then link to that file at the bottom of the page using this script tag reference, okay? In some cases, you may want to put the script up here when the script is asynchronous, but generally speaking, we're going to put our scripts down here like this. All right, so that's where you write your code. If you have any questions about this, feel free to throw some comments down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, if you like these videos, subscribe, share, or like them, and I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to take a look at Google Chrome's console tools.